Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon back with some more Justice League Dark. So this time we're doing the weekly bounty. This is the Ape Man, the Shog or Demon Lord. So what we have to do is take them out on these circles, otherwise it won't count towards um, spawning the big one. And the thing you have to pay attention to is the color that they are. So uh, this one is yellow, so it's electric. So we do have a tank in the group. Caden is pulling them to the circles. And what happens is the, the circles will get tagged with whatever power the demon is. So that one's red. And then the majority will spawn, um, will determine what the, the large one is. So if you have two of any, um, assuming that one of them is in three, you're going to get whatever that is. Uh, so this one is probably going to be electric. And then there's a feat for taking out uh, the big boss of all four powers. So that'll likely come naturally, like, you know, through the course of weeks. But um, you could force it if you have a good group and you just do all four of them at once. Um, but you just need a tank to kind of control the colors of the circles. So my recommendation is if you are planning to kind of get all four on one night, uh, you should probably do it towards the end of the cycle if you have a group. Because if you do it in on, on like reset day, it's going to be really crowded and you may get interference. Like it could be really bad if you had two tanks out there and then you know you're one person is trying to pull to one circle and the other is trying to pull to the other. And of course even worse if both have the override. So that one went pretty well, like um, earlier in the day there was a pretty bad one that I was in, like there, there were 20 people in the open world and no one was pulling them in the right direction. So I just quickly switched the tank and got the last couple. So now we're doing the, the foreman, you see the number four next to the mission there. See, if I were the devs, I would have made this one the 8-man, because it, it's kind of like, it's more straightforward. The only thing you have to be careful about this one is the skull attack. Because the, the boss will kind of hammer down, and it, it hits like a 360. It, it's similar to uh, that Amazon Fury 3 raid. It's similar to that, uh, what was it, Olympus, where um, the Cyclops would just hammer and it would hit everyone. So it's, it's kind of similar to that.
So if you stay range, you're pretty safe. Um, or if you're if you're flight, you want to be up at uh, diagonal. Uh, it doesn't seem to hit people that are flying up. But yeah, similar to um, the trench mission at Atlantis, you're going to get these little ones first. Except that the mission isn't split though. So like if you miss the part with the little ones, you will still get credit for contributing um, damage to the big one. So that one's pretty straightforward, no mechanics at all. Now something you'll notice um, between like this episode at launch versus Atlantis, um, there are multiple spawn points for the bosses, for the bounties here. Uh, whereas Atlantis, like the Brine Hulk only had one and the, the trench creatures only had two. Um, so it was easier to get like the crowds there for those two. Whereas for this one, um, sometimes it could be difficult. Like you're, you may not be able to fly by and get in on it. Whereas um, nice at Atlantis, it was really easy, demon. especially with the trench so because it was so I'm close to, it was so close to the camp. I've got to get out of this party. So I think that's something to consider um, when making uh, open world bounties in, in some of the newer zones. Because you, you do want to keep engagement up, um, especially when the next DLC comes out. There's still going to be people trying to do this. And I imagine these two bounties are going to be much more difficult than Atlantis. Because um, Atlantis is still not that bad. Um, neither Titans, um, the you know the the robot you can still get in on, but few people are doing the other one, which is more spread out. So definitely consider the locations as well as the number of spawn points for the bounties. Okay, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.